Bamidbar Numbers 26 And it came to pass, after the plague, that Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe and unto Eleazar, the son of Aharon, the priest, saying, Take at the sum of all the assembly of the children of Yasharael, from twenty years old and upward, throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Yasharael. And Moshe and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab by the Yardan near Yericho, saying, Take the sum of the people from twenty years old and upward, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe and the children of Yasharael, which went forth out from the land of Mitzrayim. Reuven, the eldest son of Yasharael, the children of Reuven, Chanok, of whom comes the family of the Chanakim, of Palu, the family of the Paluim, of Chetzran, the family of the Chetzranim, of Carmi, the family of the Carmiim. These are the families of the Reuvim. They that were numbered of them were forty and three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. And the sons of Palu, Eliav. And the sons of Eliav, Nemuel. And Dathan. And Aviyam. Rather, Aviram. This is that Dathan and Aviram, uh, which were famous in the assembly, who strove against Moshe and against Aharon in the company of Korak when they strove against Yahuwah. And the earth opened at her mouth, and it swallowed them up together with Korak when that company died. What time the fire devoured at two hundred and fifty men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding, the children of Karak died not. The sons of Shimon, after their families, of Nemuel, the family of the Nemuelim, of Yamin, the family of the Yaminim, of Yakin, the family of the Yakinim, of Zarak, the family of the Zarakim, of Sha'ul, the family of the Sha'ulim. These are the families of the Shimonim, twenty and two thousand and two hundred. The children of Gad, after their families, of Tsephon, the family of the Tsephonim, of Shagi, the family of the Shagim, of Shuni, the family of the Shuniim, of Ozni, the family of Azniim, of Iri, the family of the Iriim, of Erad, the family of the Erodim, of Areli, the family of the Areliim. These are the families of the children of Gad, according to those that were numbered of them, forty thousand and five hundred. The sons of Yahuda were Ur and Onan. And Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Yahuda, after their families, were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanim, of Peretz, the family of the Partsim, of Zarak, the family of the Zarkim. And the sons of Peretz were of Chetzran, the family of the Chetzranim, of Chamul, the family of the Chamulim. These are the families of Yahuda, according to those that were numbered of them, threescore and sixteen thousand 
and 500. Of the sons of Yishakar, after their families, of Tola, the family of the Tolim, of Pua, the family of the Punim, of Yashuv, the family of the Yashuvim, of Shimran, the family of the Shimranim. These are the families of Yishakar, according to those that were numbered of them, three score and four thousand and three hundred. Of the sons of Zevalon, after their families, of Sered, the family of the Kadim, of Elinan, rather of Elan, the family of the Elonim, of Yakel El, the family of the Yakelim. These are the families of the Zevalim, according to those that were numbered of them, three score thousand and five hundred. The sons of Yosef, after their families, were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh, of Makir, the family of the Makirim, and Makir begat at Gilad. Of Gilad came the family of the Giladim. These are the sons of Gilad. Of Leezer, the family of the Leezim. Of Chelek, the family of the Chelekim. And of Ashilel, the family of the Ashileim. And of Shechem, the family of the Shekimim. Rather, the Shikmim. And of Sheminda, the family of the Shemindaim, and of Shefer, the family of the Shafirim, and Sephulchad, the family of Shefer, had no sons but daughters. And the names of the daughters of Selephachad were Makla, and Noah, Chagla, Milka, and Tutsa. These are the families of Manasseh, and those that were numbered of them, fifty and two thousand and seven hundred. These are the sons of Ephraim, after their families, of Shutalak, the family of the Shutalakim, of Bekar, the family of the Bakrim, of Tekan, the family of the Tekanim. And these are the sons of Shutalak, of Aran, the family of the Aranim. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those that were numbered of them, thirty and two thousand and five hundred. These are the sons of Yosef, after their families, the sons of Binyamin, after their families, of Bela, the family of the Balim, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelim, of Akiram, the family of the Akiramim, of Shafunafam, the family of the Shufamim, of Kufam, the family of the Kufamim, and the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the family of the Ardim, and of Naaman, the family of the Naamim. These are the sons of Bin Yamim, rather Bin Yamin, after their families. And they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred. These are the sons of Dan, after their families, of Cushim, the family of the Cushimim. These are the families of Dan, after their families. All the families of the Cushimim, according to those that were numbered of them, were threescore and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Asher, after their families. Of Yimna, the family of the Yimnahim. Of Yishvi, the family of the Yishviim. Of Beri'ah, the family of the Beri'im. Of the sons of Beri'ah. Of Chever, the family of the Chevrim. Of Melchiel, the family of the Melchielim. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sharak. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those that were numbered of them, 
who were 50 and 3,400. Of the sons of Naphtali, after their families, of Yatshel-El, the family of the yatshel of Guni, the family of the Guni-Im, of Yatser, the family of the Yitzriim, of Shilam, the family of the Shilamim. These are the families of Naphtali, according to their families. And they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and four hundred. These were the numbered of the children of Yasharael, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and thirty. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Unto these the land shall be divided for an, inherit an inheritance according to the number of names. To many you shall give the more inheritance, and to few you shall give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. Notwithstanding at the land shall be divided by lot. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. According to the lot shall the possession thereof be divided between many and few. And these are they that were numbered of the Leviim after their families. Of Gershon, the family of the Gershonim. Of Kohath, the family of the Kohathim. Of Marari, the family of the Maraim. These are the families of the Leviim, the family of the Leviim, the family of the Chevronim, the family of the Malkim, the family of the Mushim, the family of the Korikim, and Kohath begat at Amram. And the name of Amram's woman was Yokeved, the daughter of Levi whom her mother bore to Levi in Mitzrayim, and she bore unto Amram at Ahran, and at Moshe, and at Miriam, their sister. And unto Ahran was born at Nadav, and at Avihu, at el Azar and at Itamar. And Nadav and Avihu died when they offered strange fire before Yahuwah. And those that were numbered of them were twenty and three thousand, all males from a month old and upward. For they were not numbered among the children of Yasharael, because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Yasharael. These are they that were numbered by Moshe and Elazar the priest, who numbered the children of Yasharael in the plains of Moab, by the Yardan near Yariko. But among these there was not a man of them whom Moshe and Aharon the priest numbered when they numbered at the children of Yasharael in the wilderness of Sinai. For Yahuwah had said of them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was not left a man of them save Kalev, the son of Yephaneh, and Yahshua, the son of none.